to be making some DIY hamster projects, three DIY hamster projects, and how I got the inspiration by it is from this homemade for hamsters book. And so instead of going to like PetSmart and spending like $100 on all these cool hamster toys, you can just make them out of cardboard and popsicle sticks. So I'm going to be making three of them, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to be making the climbing wall with ladder. So the first thing I did is I laid out four jumble craft sticks side by side, right here. Then I took three jumble craft sticks and glued them like on top over the lines. And so now I have my bamboo skewers and I am using scissors to cut them the length of the wall. And it's said to cut approximately 16 of these sized sticks. Okay, so now that I have cut 16 small bamboo skewers, I am now going to grab another jumbo popsicle stick. I'm going to position another craft stick for the outside of the ladder. Glue the bamboo skewers. So then when I do that, I'm going to put glue along this line and keep, and along that line and just go like that and keep placing them down until I run out. <laughs> Now that I am done with that, I am going to cut 20 very tiny and short of these. Like I could probably use one stick because I need to cut them so tiny. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking more popsicle sticks. This isn't in the book, but this is what I'm doing. And I'm putting hot glue and placing them over the bamboo skewers so they don't fall and it's more secure like a sandwich. So now that I have cut my little pieces, I'm going to take little dots of hot glue and put them kind of like everywhere. So this is the very first project I did. It's the climbing wall with ladders. So the hamsters can climb down this or climb down this and they get a pick. And it's super cute and adorable, and you can paint it if you want. I like the wood, it's kind of like nice, fresh wood. But if you want to decorate it, you can, feel free. So the next one I'm going to be making is this platform and ramp. So that is what I'm going to be making next. I can make it either this big, or I can make it this big, but I'm thinking I'm gonna make it this big because I kind of like how big it is for the hamster had a lot of room. So now that we have gotten that done, we are now going to stick them together. So what I'm doing is I'm putting two dots at the end of the popsicle sticks and sticking them to two popsicles on each end. Then I'm going to take those popsicles that are on each end and put a dot of glue on the end of those and then put two popsicles on the end of those popsicles. Then you're going to put two dots, those popsicles, and to finish it off, you put another popsicle, like that. So here now is our frame. So to make sure the hamsters can walk on them, we are now going to be putting a lot of popsicles and you're just gonna keep lining it up and you can paint them or decorate them at the end if you want. Yeah, as long as you use non toxic paint. So yeah, I like the all natural wood. It makes it kind of nice and cool. Okay, so I just finished our platform. So now that I have done that, I am going to make sure that it is sturdy so it doesn't break. It is pretty sturdy for a hamster, yes. If I needed to have a little bit of a stronger thing to make sure that it is stays glued, you, you can do this and glue some popsicle sticks like that. So we are going to be doing this and putting glue 
all around with different popsicle sticks. Okay, so now that it is all sturdy with the railings and the sticks on the bottom, we are now going to repeat, repeat this except on the top for railings. So that's what we are going to do. Okay, so now that I have gotten railing all around, we are going to be making legs for the platform with four pairs of popsicle sticks. Glue the long side of each pair together in a right angle. So we're going to take, let's move this aside. We're gonna take a popsicle stick and glue it like that. Okay, so I just made the first leg. So here's the first one. So we need to make four of these legs. And here's our fourth leg. So now we are going to take the platform, we're going to glue them to our platform. So we're going to put our platform upside down and we're going to grab one of the legs. We're going to put it like this. And now I'm just putting glue kind of around it to make sure it is secure. It doesn't fall. Okay, so now that we have one, and we're just gonna keep gluing them. Ta-da! It's done! Now that we have done that, we are going to lean a pair of popsicle sticks against the platform to figure out how long the ramp needs to be. Then we're going to mark the overlap of the sticks with a pencil and glue together at these points. Repeat this for second arm of ramp. So, I did the wrong size popsicle sticks, so now we're going to go back doing the small sized ones. Okay, so now that I've changed the size popsicle sticks, hopefully it will stand. Yay, it stands! A tree house, and I'm so excited. So what you need is cardboard, some normal size popsicle sticks, hot glue gun, and a, some scrap of paper. So the first thing that you're gonna do is draw a tree onto the cardboard and start to cut it out. I prefer, prefer instead of scissors, some um, a uh, cardboard box like cutter because the scissors were not fun. Then you're gonna put some glue and scrapbook paper on to decorate the tree. Here's the cardboard tree house. It is not exactly decorative because it's extremely hard to make, but besides that, it is a very nice tree house. This we actually bought. We didn't make this. We bought this at Michael's. So if you, this can be a digging house if you put bedding in it. You, the hamsters can come in and dig. Then I made the popsicle platform. This has the little thing they can climb up and sit because they love looking at things is what I've heard. Then the third DIY is this cool climbing board where they can climb these little bumps or they can go down or climb up a ladder. So these are all the DIYs. So now let's go let the hamsters test them out. She said, OMG, that was such a cool video. I love watching your videos. Hope you hope you are also very inspiring. So congratulations, Jenna and Sarah. And if you want to shout out in next week's video, comment down below, hashtag hamster DIYs. So if you want to become one of Hope Sales, fly into that subscribe button. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys!